so here we have in the solid dialecticals in practice okay so we have the here uh, so in the practice we're having the different types of the solid dialectical right so based upon the uh, solid material so different uh, type of the bridge filler okay because what are the uh, breakdowns in there okay Okay, so that will be differ from one material to another material. Okay, okay. so if, if you are taking the impregnate paper, that is a breakdown is different. If you take the porcelain material, the breakdowns are in are different. Okay, in this way, so based upon material, solid electrical material, the breakdowns cause by the application also it is different okay so what are the practices okay in practice what are the breakdowns we having in solid dialect okay let us see so, so here are the different types of breakdowns are uh, either intrinsic breakdown or it may be a composite okay so if you take the tracking so i have this that so tracking and trimming is nothing but so while manufacturing the material okay let us consider the uh, one particular material we are taking right so one porcelain material insulating material where manufacturing so while manufacturing this porcelain material what we have in so due to the air bubbles okay some air bubbles will be in the solid okay and due to this what what happened due to the air bubbles okay and some of the moisture contained in the solid okay while preparing the, the solid okay? so what happened due to the this air bubble and the air bubble is okay due to the air bubbles are uh, well man okay so it will be it will cause it right so due to this air bubble what happened Whenever the we post this high temperature, okay. Whenever it will be go to the high voltage stresses or high electrical stress, what happens? It will cause to causing the like combination. It is the like will be forced to the current in this that is it will go to the breaking the material okay so this is current string and track. okay so if this goes to the, in this way, that is called as a string so here what will happen it will cause the due to the impurities okay so whatever the impurities there is that will cause to gradually 
will damage the insulating it. Okay, so it will damage the gradual damage the insulating material, whatever the solid material that will goes to the break. Okay, so, so that is uh, not suddenly happen. So it will gradually decreasing the breakdown strength of the solid die. Okay, so that is bit, uh, because of the while manufacturing the, that solid material due to the air pockets that is uh, air bubbles or air pockets which are having so due to that what happen it will gradually decreases the so due to that it will making the cracks okay so it will go to the making the cracks in the solid so it will cause the where the high electrical field stresses appear so what happened it will goes to the breakdown it will take place okay this is about the tring and track And we are if you take the so these are the for example take down the tracking by which are dry conducting tracks at the conducting path. Okay, so conducting due to the conducting water and it will goes to the breakdown. Okay, this is the one practical condition okay due to the water we have and so after another type okay we are taking the first type is that is a ring and tracking and the category is another that is electro mechanical okay so electrochemical breakdown so here electrochemical breakdown means so if we consider so electromechanical chemical right so, so electrochemical breakdown so caused by the chemical transformation okay so we are taking the chemical transformation such as electrolysis and formation of ocean so if we uh, we are Considering that, so what what happens is the electrolysis. So what will happen? We have the electrolysis process. Okay. So electrolysis process will be take places due to the uh, okay, so due to the so whenever the acid rains comes due to the um, atmospheric condition of pollution, what will be some of the cases uh, in areas based upon area? So, some cases it will be having the acid rains will be. Okay, due to the also it will be causing the LPS. and based upon the material. Okay, so, so aging also it will be and formation of ozone. So here ozone. So here how much you do? okay so if it considering the if we apply the high voltage application right so we are, we are using solid metal high voltage application so do the whatever the air is there okay so, so formation of the ionization process okay due to the ionization process in the gas 
surface okay that is the whatever the surrounding air so due to the also the material okay the solid material the some changes will take place continuously if if continuously happen okay so it is not a um, sudden place where so it will be due to the chemical changes okay the chemical changes electrolysis so for me what happen it will be gradual okay not sudden so it will be continuous take place in the if we apply it continuously so what happen at the one time okay if you have the high voltage stresses what happen it will go to the break and here uh, if you can say so in addition uh, not only electrolysis and ozone formation of ozone and we having failure occurs due to the partial discharge okay so so what you are so what are the partial discharge nothing but so air pockets so due to the air pockets in the insulation okay that partial discharge so here air pockets uh, air partial discharge so that will mean take places in the where you are taking the paper insulation okay I mainly that will be appeared in the paper insulation material okay and so paper insulating material where we are using it so, so here it will be used for the, the high voltage cables okay so if it considering the high voltage cables mainly the insulation material so we can uh, we are using the that is the impregnated paper because uh, that is very flexible for rounding the and it will be withstand okay internal stresses okay that's why we're using the impregnate paper to in the high voltage cables okay that's it so that we have discussed that is first first thing is that uh, the practical condition that is treeing and tracking okay that we have talked so due to that so treeing and tracking okay so treeing and tracking one can one thing and due to the ozone form okay so ozone formation and electrolysis so electrolysis next we are having dynamic that so due to the air pockets okay due to the air pockets in case the impregnate paper right so these are the practical conditions uh, where we having the part discharge will take places okay now we are considering the electro uh, another so chemical and electrochemical deterioration and breakdown okay so what are the chemical changes will be appear okay what are the types we have so here what happened due to the surrounding air okay so other gases also it will be decreases the 
breakdown strength of the material okay so it will be not continuously flow then. okay so it will be caused by the due to the gradually applying okay so these changes will be continuously happen okay so whenever the it will be applied for the high voltage transfer continuously okay that will be take place so what are the chemical uh, changes here okay so first thing is that oxidation okay first thing is that oxidation we are taking so end up uh, so oxidation take place because of the oxygen okay materials such as uh, where we have uh, oxidation process take place in the solid that is material such as a rubber and polythene okay so rubber and polythene undergoes oxidation Uh, giving the rise to surface crack. So whenever the if it considering the solid material that is a rubber. So due to the whenever the oxidation go to the so surface will be go to the crack. Due to that, so partial this will first appear, then it will go to the breakdown okay and another thing is that so, so hydrolysis okay so hydrolysis is one of the main cause in the breakdown process okay so, so here in the hydrolysis okay let me continue hydrolysis so while i saying so when moisture okay so we are talking about when moisture or water so this will be mainly appear in the in the rainy season so and and then the humidity okay so if it is moisture is high in the atmosphere so whatever the it is this okay uh, the atmosphere condition so here what then so water vapor is present in the surface of the solid electrolysis and material loss with electrical and mechanical process Okay, so due to the high voltage, the material loss is electrical mechanical. Okay, so electrical properties. Let's say how electrical properties will be used because whenever the high voltage process takes place. Okay, so due to the water vapor, what happens? So, I think it is solid material. Okay. So, due to the water, okay, if we am the solid material, so let us consider the water, okay, uh, one rectangle. So, if it is this is one solid. And here we are having quite easy to what is placed so we are using as the inflation and so here what happened so we are just pouring some of the water in the 
having solid negative. So whenever it will be applied for whenever it will be applied for the high voltage test. Okay. So if you apply for the high voltage, what is happen? It will be the amount of okay, high voltage will be Small current will be close. Okay, so long as the small current will be close to the surface of the air. So that causes the break down. Okay, the break down will be due to the uh, water vapor what happened the mechanical strength of water the mechanical strength of the salt heated that will also reduce so the high voltage that is continuously flowing okay if it, uh, it will be based in the high voltage to continuous what happened due to the water vapor the first the electrical state. Okay. So we are having the oxidation. Okay. So we are talking about the oxidation, right? So here, first thing is that due to the water vapor, what happened? Electron. Okay. So electrical properties first, it will be. Okay. So due to the electrical properties, okay, some of the changes will be take place in the solid. So due to the whenever the, it will be applied for the high voltage stresses, what happened? So it loses their electrical properties first. Okay. Then so what happened? It will be loses the their mechanical property. Okay, first it will loses the electrical properties, then mechanical properties. So if you lose the electrical properties, what happened? So it will be forced the high voltage. So due to the high voltages, what happened? Total solid dielectrical plans act as a conductor first. Okay. First it will act as a conductor partially. Then it will be breakdown. Okay. It will be some crackers. Okay. So and tracking will be caused due to that what happen it will be suddenly break down at at a point so here if you take the material okay or electrical properties of the material so if you are considering the that is paper cotton tape and other cellular materials we are using okay so rapidly so we are to be mainly causes in the paper cotton tape and other cellulose material so where we are using this uh, paper cotton tape and other cellulose material so it will be mainly used in the cables okay so paper cotton tape and the materials we are using mainly it will be take places in these cables okay Next, we are having the plastic. So, if we considering the plastic, uh, like polythene under the changes, uh, what happened if we continuously hydrolysis places? Okay, due to the vapor vapors we are having in the plastic 
what happens? It will goes to the reduces their life. Okay, so it will be whatever the reduce uh, aging is there. Okay, the it will goes to the continuous undergoes this process. What happen? The material. Okay, the material properties it will be loses, and whenever it will apply for high voltage just continuously so it will gradually decrease this properties and breakdown will be take place. okay and so it will be the lifespan okay the lifetime of the material so it will be reduced next we having the, the chemical action we talk about the chemical action so here we are considering the chemical arm. so even the option so we are considering the so even the absence of the electrical fields okay some of the chemical actions if it take places okay so progressive chemical degrading of the insulating metal can occur due to the variety of process of such as chemical instead of high temperatures okay so here first thing is even though if you not apply the any high voltage okay so due to the such as a, some of the high uh, surrounding temperature okay if you are having the surrounding temperature is there so how it is a um, surrounding temperature are okay so, so high temperatures okay if you considering the let me consider the example as the cables so cables what happen so due to the uh, so cables are placed in the underground part okay so we are using cable these are the underground right so where did it place in the head of undergrounds what will happen it will go steam okay it will be continuously placed in the underground so whenever the summer season are based upon the temperature if variations take place so it will be continuously the temperature will will be applied high temperature okay due to the temperature also okay so, so at the crust temperature also it will be continuously the temperature the, the based upon the area also it will be different right so due to that so due to that high temperature also some chemical changes will be take place okay and oxidation okay i am considering the another thing that is the oxidation and cracking the presence of air and ocean okay due to the presence of the air and ocean so this chemical action will be take place and the hydrolysis due to the moisture so not only the high temperature okay we have a and cracking this will be the presence of the air and moisture content okay So due to this chemical action, whenever the if you apply it for the electrical field, what happened? So due to the chemical uh, actions continuously processing. Okay. So when 
they will apply it for the high voltages or electrical field what happen it will be partially act as a conduct okay the, uh, whenever the solid metals are um, insulating metal so it will partially act as conductor and it will be loose their mechanical stress. okay so, so suddenly it will go ahead it will be the breakdown will be caused okay so this is about the chemical actions okay one is the oxidation we are talking and another is hydrolysis act okay hydrolysis and chemical action what will happen so whenever if he applied okay so not only for the present of the electrical field okay even though if the electrical field is not applied and material so it will lose this their properties okay So if it continuously happen, okay, what we have, okay, so if it is a high oxidation, hydro, which is chemical action. So if it continues, okay, so what we have to do to avoid this such problem. So to avoid this such a problem, what we are going to do? So we have to carefully take in. Okay, first we have to take the so where we are applying the that insulating material. Okay, so first we have to consider the temperature conditions of the application. Okay, so if you are using the paper ignite paper, okay, impregnate paper insulation okay so at what temperature we are going to apply okay so based upon the area or based upon the application so first we have to take so based based on that we have to considering the which uh, insulating material is suitable that application and area okay Based on that, we can avoid the, these uh, these chemical changes in the solids. 